Okay, this is going to be a four-card Oracle U pick with Dyadic Cross Finish. I hope you, I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So this is kind of like, I always say, looking out the window to see what the weather's like before you start your day. Or if it's at the end of your day, maybe you can look, this will help you look back and say, oh, okay, that's why that happened. But in any event, uh, so this will be the time to just collect your thoughts, uh, decide what it is that you want to address the, with the cards, and then uh, we'll move on. You hear me say it all the time, you know, this is a good time to stop the video, go get yourself something to drink, settle in, have a cup of tea. Where I'm at, it's kind of cold, so I'm going to get some hot chocolate. But um, just... Uh, Decide what it is that you want to address and then uh, center yourself and then let's uh, go on to the reading. So this is a very interesting deck that I actually had made uh, online. And the company that made it for me is this Lumen Grave. Lumen Grave. So they will make almost anything you want uh, in wood and engrave it for you. Um, I, can sh uh, I love the symbol on here, which I got to choose how this would be uh, decorated. And uh, I can't show you the other side because it's a very personal message on the other side. But you can see here that it shows to show you what's inside here. And as I open the top, okay, there are, and they're a little bit difficult to use, these cards are, but there are all the decks, all the cards, rather, of the, um, of the tarot right here. This is going to take me a minute to sort through this because I haven't planned how I would display this for you. Put lumen grave up here in case you might want to use them to get something done. Okay, so um, these are very interesting. So they're wooden tarot cards. They're not colored. If you would color them, it would add even more thickness to them and make these even more difficult to use. Again, I can't show you the other side because I got a very personal message on the other side, but uh, this side here just shows you how amazing <clears throat> what you can get done with tarot. So you could use these as Christmas ornaments. You could drill a hole in them, hang on a tree, uh, any sort of a, a decoration or cooperation that might be useful to you. Okay, um, so this will be a little, you know, I didn't think this through using these cards for this divination, but what I do is I always uh, kind of uh, meditate, contemplate to decide which decks I'm going to use that day. And, uh, and these are the ones that came up as uh, useful for me. And this is how we're going to go about this on this draw today. My wooden tarot cards from Lumen Grave. Okay, so we're going to use these wooden tarot cards. I can't show you the back of them because they have a very personal message there that I just don't want to put out into the universe. But I'm going to shuffle them like this, face up. And I always feel like, why do we as tarot readers so often shuffle our cards uh, face down? I mean, you can't, uh, unless you're some amazing sleight of hand uh, expert, you know, you can't uh, determine uh, how these are going to be um, displayed once you shuffle them. I can't. So I don't see any point in not shuffling them face up um, when they're so interesting to look at anyway. So I hope you can see these and I'll hold them up to the camera because I know they're dark and I know they're not easy to interpret. Okay, so this is going to be a four card spread or oracle, I should say. So what I'll do is I will just cut each stack and take one card from the middle for that uh, four card uh, oracle. Okay, so this will be one. This will be two. It's hard to tell if I have one or two. This will be three. And this will be four. This is very interesting. I kind of like uh, that I'm doing this this way. So these are the four cards. 
and you're seeing them fully, that's fine. You still have to make a decision about uh, which uh, card intuitively you feel is going to be good for you. So if you need to, why don't you turn off the video right now, put it on hold or pause, and just uh, go within yourself uh, and uh, and disregard the images that you've seen and just decide, is it one, two, three, four for each of the questions uh, that you may have, even if it's just one question. Okay? So one, two, three, four. Remember, you can pause this video to help you make that decision. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. This is interesting. I hadn't really thought this through at all and just jumped right into the reading. And I'm presented with these issues. And sometimes that's what we have to do in life. You just have to go into this issue that you're dealing with and make a decision. Okay, so I'm going to need five additional cards to help uh, with this uh, divination. Okay, so we're going to do Diet Cross to help us finish it out. Okay, so I'm going to take out of here, I'm just going to take one, two. I'm not looking, I'm just pulling these apart. Gravity card, three, four, and five. Okay, so these have helped us out. I'm going to let these work on that energy. This is very interesting, isn't it? And then we'll have this one, two, three, four, five cards to help us in this divination. This reminds me of using a, a deck of cards I have that has pictures on both sides. Okay, so the uh, signifier for number one, if that's what you chose, is this uh, Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles, as you can see, is just kind of balancing these, these value, this worth. Uh, it could be money, but it could just be some important uh, issues or people uh, that you're trying to balance out or decisions. Both uh, equally important at one moment. One may have a little more importance than the other, but um, this is the signifier of this card is finding, finding a balance, okay, of this read. I'm sorry. The challenge to that then with this ten, uh, this nine of cups, nine of, you know, cups are emotion, compassion, um, and uh, the uh, ten of cups is sort of the uh, wish fulfillment card. It's called the greedy merchant, but this is the fellow who has, has got lots of uh, trophies on display. All of these cups of emotion, compassion are just up here, and he's very proud to show you what he's accomplished. So the challenge to this balance is, in fact, this uh, embarrassment of riches of emotion that go with it. Okay, so sometimes that is the case. We're so fortunate or we have so many choices that um, it can be hard to balance out ones that are important. The base of this reading then is going to be this Hierophant. You know, the Hierophant is the rule, is the fellow who is the rules. He's, he's the system by which uh, a, a thing happens. You see these two monks right here uh, giving praise to the Hierophant, or it's also known as the Pope sometimes. And uh, he's up here with his hands up in the, in the air, holding onto his staff, looking straight forward into his uh, regime and deciding, you know, how uh, this is going to be uh, dealt with. And so this is the base of this reading, this Hierophant. This kind of reminds me of playing dominoes with these little square things. Um, the past of this reading, then, is the death card. And the death card is very seldom ever death. It's the end, though. It's the death of an issue. It's the end of a cycle. It's something is completely finished. And then, of course, it's great because now something new is going to come up from that. So the death card is in the past of this reading. And that just tells us that whatever it was, it's over. OK, now we've got to figure out what we're going to do now. Uh, let's understand all the importance that it has and the power that we have to do it. The sky of this reading then with this uh, two of wands and the two of wands, just like this fella here, he's holding on to that globe, trying to look into the future. He's got one wand that's securely fastened behind him. This this plan is in place. And he's got another wand that is still somewhat ambiguous, still in his hand being ready to be placed. So in the sky here, we want to know that we don't have to play this whole thing out perfectly. We just need to get the next step, short-term plans, two of wands. We need to get this next uh, part of this uh, going. In the likely outcome of all of this, then, is this three of pentacles. You see the three pentacles right here, and you see the three folks here collaborating towards getting this thing done. I always like to say the three pentacles is some value for public display. And, of course, if you're going to hang something out for the public to see, probably you want it to be the best that you can put out there. So, yeah, with, this is telling me that. With the consideration, understanding the importance, with the uh, authority that we have to get into it, it's something else is finished and something new is beginning. We don't have to make a long-term plan about it. And just understand that with cooperation, seek people or things or information that's going to make you proud to put this decision out for public display. And I don't know if I said that this is a yes or a no card in the beginning, but this is a yes card.
Okay. And I will incorporate these back into the stack. Okay. So now we'll get into some sort of a shuffle here just to help us with this divination. And the signifier for number two, this embattlement, this nine of, I did not give you the answers to this. So that was a yes, this is a no, this is a yes, and this is a no. Or maybe even a maybe. But uh, so let's start to, so if you chose number two, that's a no card, and that's the nine of wands. The nine of wands, I don't know if you can see it, but this fella is really beaten up. He's embattled. He's got all these plans, all these actions behind him. He's got one uh, sturdy plan or action in his hand still, and he's ready to take on, to go further, to do more. But he is embattled. Okay, so that's the, uh, the card there. That's a no card. Let's shuffle these up just a little bit to get the final five cards that we're going to need to finish this divination for you. Okay, so this will be one, this will be two, this will be three, this will be four, and this will be five. Okay. Take these signifier card being this this embattlement, this nine of wands. Okay, this is saying no, not quite yet. We can get it done, but not quite yet. The challenge of that is this big ace of wands. So, so this is some sort of an encouragement to move forward, a big plan, a strong plan, almost divinely uh, given. So the challenge to moving forward on this is you know kind of resisting that push forward. Give yourself a break before you jump into it. The base of this reading then, oh look, they repeated. So this Nine of Cups, this greedy merchant, this wishes fulfilled card, these emotions, these compassions, uh, this is a rich card and it's telling us, yeah, you know, we've come into this kind of understanding that we can get this done. The past of this reading with this fool right here. So he's beginning his journey. He's a zero of the major arcana. He's just starting out. He's uh, carefree, stepping off, hopefully not onto a cliff. He's got his intuition here, hopefully giving some guidance. He's got some inspiration in this little flower. And he's taking just what he needs of the necessities uh, with him on this trip, with the sun shining to light that day. And so the in the past of this reading, we've got that this is a new start. Just like that other one had death in that position, which was the end. Now this one is the beginning of that journey. Journey. The uh, sky of this reading then, oh, look, repeat it again. So this nine of swords, well, it's not repeated, but this nine of swords is um, really a, a nightmare. Swords are actions, rules, uh, law. Uh, um, and so this uh, nine of uh, swords is telling us, listen, this has to be very carefully dealt with. Okay, so just like this was a no card, this is a caution up here too. And in the uh, final outcome though, however, look at that, is this four of wands, this smallish celebration um, on to something better. You see the four of wands here? This is sometimes called the marriage card. We've got these two figures right here holding up bouquets. You got a big castle in the background. So we know this is the beginning of a, of a, a decision, the first decision of a, towards a bigger decision later on. So just to talk about it again, we start out as the challenge or the signifier, this uh, nine of wands of big caution. He's going to take this on, but it's time to take a break right now. And it, the challenge to it is that this may seem like you're getting a big push forward, but just resist a bit until you've got everything clear. Because at the base of this, you come in with all the compassion, all the emotion, wishes fulfilled to get this thing done. It's a new journey. It's a new start. It's a new beginning. It's starting on this, this other issue. But again, caution with this nightmare, this nine of swords up in the sky. But look how it ends up. It ends up, this no card can turn into the beginning of a very good adventure. So that's how this uh, one plays out. Okay, so I'm going to incorporate these back in. Yeah, I really hadn't thought this through, but I think it's working out. Okay, and then the next signifier we have you know, the number three was the card you chose, and this is a yes card. So this is the uh, Ace of Cups, emotions, compassion. Remember, that's what cups water is. And this is a great big divine uh, offering of, yeah, look at the peace stuff, even diving down into that beautiful water of uh, emotion. So that's a signifier. That's a signifier of this card. So let's shuffle these up just a little bit 
before we take five cards. And I'm going to pull one out right now. Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to do it like this. It's one. Two. Three. You know, this card fell out. I'm going to use it. Four. some reason, this stack doesn't need to participate. Okay, so we have five cards here. One, two, three, four, five. Signifier being this Ace of Cups, a big offer of compassion of emotion. All right? These cards don't have to do with you. This is number three. Yes card. The challenge to that is this Page of Cups. You know, and the page is the very weakest of the court cards. He's a fellow that's just bringing an idea to court and say, hey, this is what I got. What do you think? But in this cup of compassion, there's a little fish getting ready to jump. But there's some sort of surprise in there. The page is aware of it. And he's kind of trying to balance that little fish so he can't get it out of the cup. He said, hey, uh, here's what I got for you. You probably want to consider this. And uh, let's see how long I can hold it. So, yeah. So this um, uh, signifier of cups is challenged by this Page of Cups. Okay, this surprise, this, this information coming forward. Okay, so we want to consider that uh, for this. The base of this reading then with this Knight of Swords. Look at this Knight. Okay, he's really got his truth, his justice, his rules, his law. He's ready to plunge forward with this. So the base of this is knowing that there's some action that's ready to be taken. Okay, it wants to get out. The past of this reading then with the justice. And look at this justice. So she's not blind. She's got her, her sword in one hand. She's got the scales, the balance of, of law in the other. And she's uh, ready to make a decision. So we came into this ready to get this done. And it seems that way with this great big offer of cups right here. Almost an urging to get it done. And this page saying, well, I've got this information. So hang on a second. In the sky of this reading, look, we've got the three of wands. Wands are uh, plans, are actions, are fire, are emotions. Ocean, and uh, this Three of Wands is a long-term plan, okay? And they're set. Uh, this fella is out uh, in front of his plans. They're all firmly set in the ground, and he's ready to start on, on executing that. So we need to make sure that we're going to go ahead and get this done. We're going to think it through so that we have everything in place to make our plan work perfectly. And then the uh, final outcome of this is the Hermit. Love the Hermit because he's the Major Arcana. He's number nine. He's well on the journey of the Fool. And he's shining a light ahead to make sure he, he understands what's ahead of him in his path. He's got a staff of wand of uh, plans of action in his hand, but he's got it close to his body before he makes that decision forward. So this is a yes card with a little bit of caution. So great big offer of compassion. Yes. Uh, uh, challenged by this page of cups. Some more emotion, maybe a little surprise. Understand that. Uh, underpin with this knight of swords, really rare to get this action going. Uh, this justice on this side uh, from the past is telling us we came into this sort of on an even keel, hopefully. Uh, in the sky, make sure this is a firm plan that will carry us through. And uh, But understand that you need to understand what's ahead of you as you get this start to, to get this done. Okay? The fourth card, if that's what you chose, is this ten of wands. And the ten of wands is just a hard bundle to get going up that hill, okay? It's something that's very uh, cumbersome, awkward. Um, it's a chore, okay? You can see this fella is just trying to carry these these plans, these actions in just the most uncomfortable ways, lean forward, and just seems like he's just falling forward with this as he goes forward, almost like me trying to juggle these uh, wooden cards. But uh, we're gonna get five cards out of here to finish this off, okay? This will be one. We need five of these. Oh, that one wanted to come out. Two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. We're done with these cards for now. Put them off to the side. They've done their work. Trusted companions. Okay. Signifier being this Ten of Wands, a really 
difficult task. This is kind of a no or maybe a maybe card. Uh, the challenge to that, though, look at this. So this is a Six of Cups, and the Six of Cups is, you know, rem look at these sweet children. All their cups are loaded full of flowers. They're even giving as a gift to the other. And so this is remembering a better time, a simpler time, a more pleasant time, a sweeter time. So the challenge to getting this up the hill is, is this remembrance of, of how this was a lot easier uh, in the past. This was a lot easier in the past. We say that to ourselves about a lot of things. Uh, the basis of this, again, justice shows up again. Shows there's, uh, there's, there's equality. There's evenness. There's a fairness underpinning this whole thing. Okay? The past of this reading, look, this is the Tower card. So this could have been really came to a, an abrupt end. You've got the king and some folks falling out of that tower. It's going to crumble, and you're going to have to rebuild. Look at that. From the ruins that were left behind and it's not always easy it was easier before it's fair in the sky this reading is the wheel of fortune so the wheel of fortune i always say is turning in a positive direction it doesn't mean there won't be some difficulties but there's more good on a wheel than there is bad and so this wheel of fortune up in the sky is what we understand that we've got some good good possibilities ahead of us and then the uh likely outcome of this uh, which was like a no or maybe card to begin with is are uh, these nine of swords these nightmares okay so it doesn't mean that this is going to be an easy decision even after it's made it could be difficult but listen we've got when you've got an end you've got to start a new beginning and you've got to get through that to get to something else on your journey so understand that a heavy load it was easier in the past we've got some fairness involved it's a new start there's a good chance that things are going to be better but you can uh, pr prepare yourself for some difficulty too. So those are the four cards, my wooden tarot, specifically a handmade for me today, and I hope this is interesting and useful for you. I love doing these oracles for you, and I hope that they bring some meaning to the issues that you're dealing with. And uh, so uh, let's uh, hope that's the case. Send me some information in the comments and let me know how that's working out for you. And uh, sometimes it hits home, sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it kind of bounces off you and it's for somebody else. So just be aware of that. All right? Thanks. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.